Son of Beast here. We're back for another Eastern Conference Finals as the Sixers are currently in the lead 3 to 2. But for the Bucks, they're just well play out there. How long do they do? Well, this is what they have done before that the Bucks are showing no signs at all. But they have to try something else in order for them to make the win. There might be some solution if there's another one for them to keep an eye on. So, it's time for them to see who's going to win the sixth game. Will it be the Sixers advancing to the finals or the Bucks advancing to game seven one last time? There might be more underway, but there might be someone that could never stop improving what they have done before. This part of the season is never able to do it on that day for the most part. I have never seen somebody going off before, and if there is something else that could expose, there might be something else that nobody has ever saw. So it's time to see what they could do. Let's do this gaming, and we are ready to play the sixth game. And checking this one out, I just don't like to see what the ad is about. Just this one. Not this one, but I really do not think about this one. Yeah, sorry, 2K TV. 2K TV Awards, it's time for My NBA, our deepest game mode. Let's see what My NBA MVP is on the board. So here's a one more look. That goes to Glow World J2X. Glow World J2X takes the My NBA MVP title. And yeah, that was the one on the title. I never, no, I never thought this would happen. But it's truly an honor to be recognized, just having fun. I just want to shout out all the people you know that I've played in, you know, leagues in. You know, you know, keeping the game fresh, all the devs, like, you know, Mike Wang, you know, LG, Ronnie, of course. Appreciate the opportunity, and I'm very thankful. So that is just that. Now it's time to bring Game 6 at Milwaukee. Of course, if you're watching the Olympics, we're still seeing things, what is going on. And at this point, if there's another chance for them. And good thing that Team USA beat Australia. They're heading to the finals. Of course, the semifinals is on with USA if they can bring up for the women's basketball team to advance the finals. But here's what we are thinking about. This is what they were expecting to see here for those guys. So let's get on the game below. I will turn off the commentators and get started. Let's get game six beginning. This is what they really want. At that moment, we were trying to find out who could take the first to hit the winning point of the game. Can the Sixers move on to the finals, or will the Bucks stop them to, in order to win Game 7? Here's Curry, and it's taken over by Giannis Antetokounmpo. He's got his first steal. Back in the last five games, this was happening before he was able to take it from here. 
And we have a block going on Simmons. He never got a he never got a shot blocked already, but thanks for him. He saved the deal. Joel Embiid rolling around to take an Eero in the in a layup. He has got this first bucket here over by Ben Simmons, which will take his first rebound. Drew Holiday on Simmons, cut and drive, that's in there. Simmons trying to work his way up. Here's Curry. Here's um he will try to make his trying to make his play. And with the fade and rolling around the layup will be Ben Simmons. His first bucket. If game six. Now back in the other direction. Here's Drew Holiday making a spin move. Working our way around. Block the pass on Ben Simmons. Taking a 2-0-1 and beat. Driving forward, and he has made it a deal of the second time ever. Giannis Antetokounmpo passes to DiVincenzo, right over to Drew Holiday. Holiday passes to Middleton with a three. The three-pointer cannot be reached out as Middleton makes the, missed the first three-pointer. Taking a go over, here's Embiid. Embiid only has first two couple pointers out there. He's just walking. Want to watch them to see what happens to him. Curry for the three. That will go in for the, for the triple. Curry's got his first three-pointer in game six. Nilton on green. Taking heavy. But the first foul will call on is the Philadelphia. It will be first foul called on Seth Curry. And first team foul put it up. Chris Middleton got a little cold out there. But he was refusing it to do take two shots at the free throw line. They stopped the clock at 4.51 to go, and they really got to uh, answer it back to make another quick call in order for them to, uh, to make it from the game. First free throw is good for Chris Middleton. Of course, um, congratulations to Sidney McLaughlin, who has just run 400 meter hurdles, and of course she broke the record. That was insane for her to keep an eye on her, to do it at the right timing at the moment. Well done here, of course, Sidney uh, McLaughlin. Expecting to see a New Jersey, but that is not what I was expecting to see if there's anything going on. Curry, over to Harris. Simmons, green for three. Rebound by Joel Embiid. This will be his first rebounding of the night. Curry in the corner, taking a three. Look, look. His second three-pointer three is no good. Drew Holiday, taking a drive, and it is inside the paint. Drew Holiday's got his second bucket of the night. Right now, we're looking over is Seth Curry. Moving over to Simmons, right to Green. Looking over, Tobias Harris. Facing up is Curry. Six to shoot. Green has to make a jumper, and he just has to lay up before the block was being put up on Anacupo. But he missed it, the defenseman, shot block. Simmons on holiday, he goes right over to DiVincenzo. Draw the outside. The first three-pointer can't hit the mark. Sixers lead by five. The rebound turn that will be Giannis Antetokounmpo. Commentators are turned off. We'll be, we, it will be the back opening for the finals. And a good drive here for Drew Holiday. He's got another bucket here in the red of night. 11 to 8. Six are still in the lead by three. Bounce pass to Simmons in a corner. Joel Embiid will pick up a screen. Driving in, and this will go right from the scoring position to take a second bucket. Simmons has four. Here is Adekupo. Adekupo just working inside. The limb on reverse is off the mark. Didn't have, able to hit that one. Green, right to Simmons. Curry, 
Up again. Green for three. Rebound again by Embiid. Ten to shoot. He has to get things going. Green. Simmons, early throw, and this was missed off the line for three-pointer. And here's Anacupo, he goes up. Rebounded by, by Simmons. Curry still has more. MB going inside. He makes the shot and won. This one, first fleet call on the Bucks on the foul. This will be his first personal on Drew Holiday. And checking out with the play here, you can't just go wrong about the shot and one. As for while Embiid really has it all staggered up, he was really trying to keep it going. And maybe that time, he might be able to do it all over once more. Joel Embiid, he's moved over to uh, he's moved over to the uh, point forward. Or, I mean the center. D. White Howard's still on point forward. As new changes appear from Ben Simmons, Curry, Green, and Tobias Harris, Legend Joel Embiid has seven points on the bucket. Sixers got a good start here as he approached down to two minutes in the first quarter. Holiday over a hill. First shot missing as the White Howard grabs his first rebound. Rebound it over, it's Philadelphia 8, 4 on Milwaukee. Milton trying to work her way around. Bounce pass right to Howard. Finds Baptiste Feibel. Rolling over Embiid. Another shot for Embiid's good. Assist by Baptiste Feibel. His first assist, first timeout called by the Bucks with a minute and 37 to go. Now, I wasn't expecting that uh, Joel Embiid was able to do it from here. As of right now, I'll take a sub out here for Joel Embiid. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, bring uh, bring somebody back in. If there's a chance for them to score for it, well, we'll see what, what happens. Great play on a man to man. We'll switch it over to do two to three zone. We'll just try to do it again. Six assists on the Sixers, one assist on the Bucks. One block here for the Sixers, so Matt always took it out. Both teams have a first turnover to try to give it a, a solid hit on the run. But that's more of them of what they really need. So as we being said, they all made the changes here. Forbes, Content, PJ Tucker, and Bobby Portis. PJ Tucker, he will try to figure this out his run. Three-pointer for Girard, they can't hit the run. Million and Bead inside. Oh, he slammed it across. Joel and Bead just got wild out there in game six. But it looks like the, the Bucks need to find a way to make himself more and more better. And they gotta try to figure it out to do it all. And beat on him. Now Milton will help him out. Inside Milton. And it's tipped away by D.Y. Howard. This will be a second turnover on Milwaukee Bucks. A nice inside layup drive for Joel Embiid. And George Hill takes the first assist. 50 seconds on a carry here. With 22 to 8. A little smoke out here on the first break. Fierce period. Connaughton out. Three-pointer is missed. D.Y. Howard, pass to MB. MB right to Jake Milton. 30 seconds left here for the first quarter. Bible again MB. He makes the shot, he has 15 on a run. And a second assist is on Bible. Drew Holiday, try to work their way around quickly. Moving in. Connaughton for three. Three! Connaughton! First three-pointer of the night in game six. George Hill trying to find a long. Milton outside. Three seconds to go. Matisse Tvival will have to just leave it off from here as 24 to 11 score is on the Sixers. Well play on the run, but there might be still more out there 
if there is a chance for the Bucks to keep a close out. We'll be right back with you after this one. Um, I think that there was a lot of pressure put on our team um, from outside, and to be able to withstand that, to be able to still go out there and play every day. Good thing we saw Drew Holiday here on the interview. He was talking to a teammate here, as he has mentioned it before. The only team that he has never ever played here was the away games at that point. So when he helped his teammate out, he really wanted to give it all and try to work on the run and how hard it feels like that it should never happen here before, but it's very hard to keep an eye on him. So the second quarter already, following up on a three-pointer on Forbes. Three-pointer carried out for George Hill, and that'll be his first three-pointer of the night. Here's Holiday on Hill. He rolls over the floors, and uh, his three-point range is knocked out. Four, four rebounds going on for D.Y. Howard. Eleven rebounds here for the Sixers. Four on the Bucks. Maxi right to Howard. Back with the pass, and it's blocked away, tipped away. Here's Howard right to Bobby Portis. He'll try to work his way on a run. I am rejected by D.Y. Howard. Corkbaugh's wide open. Takes a good shot, clean one making as Tyrese Maxey gets the first assist. Corkbaugh's got his first bucket here in game six. Tucker out. Three! BJ Tucker! He has his first three-pointer in game six. He never done it before. Bible. Back to Corkbaz. Corkbaz rolling over to Maxi. Maxi trying to work his way around. D. Ron Howard looking inside. Jumps up. Jumps in. He makes it play in easily as timeout occurs on the Bucks with 5.01 to go. Well, it's definitely what they were saying. That the, I think the defensive breakdown was just too small, too slow to carry it out. If this is what they really need if they really wanted to take it all. Hmm. It's very tough of what they have done before. And that's what they have done many times at the, at the ball game if there is another one for him to keep a pressure on. So let's keep the limit. Let's try to let's try to patient on the offense. Let's just not go too deep. A couple new changes here for the Bucks and Sixers. As uh, four players are checked out except for Dwight Howard, as Simmons, Curry, Green, and Harris are checked in. And same thing that goes on the other hand is all five players are checked out. Lopez, Adekupo, Middleton, DiVincenzo, and Forbes boots the point guard as Drew Holiday is checked out. Green right to Simmons. Free on one break, but it will not be air at that time. Howard rolling over to Simmons. Green up. Three-pointers made. Green has got his first three-pointer of the night, assist by Ben Simmons. He really has that all, but this isn't what they meant. Curry watching him. DiVincenzo out. Three! Dante! DiVincenzo! First three-pointer of the night. Simmons carrying it out to Harris. Right to Curry. Curry making a double dribble out there. Simmons right to Green. Green right over to Simmons. Inside Howard, he is up, makes a shot. Howard has got his second bucket, and Simmons carries out another assist. Adekubo against Simmons once more, only 3.40 left to go. Forbes going in. Rebound by Brooke Lopez. A little man on him. And this turns to be an offensive free second violation on Lopez. What a good block here for D.Y. Howard as he was right up and over on Bobby Portis. 
and it gives a little tap, and yeah, just send them out there. Just a little, just a little push on that one. So a great play for the Sixers. I say we'll take a timeout. They're gonna start making a new offensive here and to make it work. So Dubai Howard, I'm gonna go ahead and check him out. I'm bringing back Joel Embiid. How well does he have to play? And that should be it. Just a little fast change over here as Joel Embiid is checking in. Dubai Howard, take a rest a bit, man. Simmons, right to Embiid. Double man on him, Simmons, right to Curry. Right to Embiid, blocked out! It's Brooke Lopez with the block on Embiid, the process. Forbes on Curry, he's got a first block here, well played. Curry on him, finding inside Lopez. Oh! Oh, what a rejection here for Joel Embiid. Well played on that one, he takes a revenge here and says, and he just stably says, 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 I want it all. Brooke Lopez find Middleton and a three! Chris Middleton! First three pointer. Assist by Brooke Lopez. Harris keeping in the center and B, and he has picked up a run. 17 points in a game, and yeah, nine on the run of field goals. Sometimes the defender is getting a little bit of trouble out there. Looks like Adekupo is losing it. And yep, that counts it as a, as a shot and one. Joel Embiid has, has gradually had taken his first personal foul, second team foul on Philadelphia. Now two shots coming. Will be Giannis on a Kubo. One shot, I meant. I'm sorry. Did I get that wrong? I should not be making mistakes. And that free throw, my friend, makes it in there. Bucks are still trailing. You're trailing up by, you're trailing up by two, 12. You're trailing by 12, I meant. Shot bait, right to Embiid. Six to shoot, five going over Curry. Green with a shot, and it's knocked away. Ida Kumpo, right to Middleton, finishing a drive, and he dunks it across! They're down by 10, and out of the Cooper with the assist. Two minutes left here in the second period of the first half. Curry, deep pass to Simmons. Tobias Harris hits the first three-pointer, and he says, no, no, there's still more that we need to get through. And, and that is just really what they want. There's no celebration victory here to start off with the first half. Now the next timeout will be called up is Milwaukee Bucks with a minute and 41 to go. Hold on by those guys. Really nice. I'm gonna go ahead and just switch it to the three to two zone. I'm gonna make it. Um, I'm gonna have an average here. Let's keep the let's keep the uh, series here as we do the Mavs and Philly series, and then the defense. We want to see. We want to shrink the floor, we want to protect the perimeter, and also watch um, watch on any players. Run in transition, this is what they really need in order to make it through. Now they made new changes here for, for the Sixers, as Curry's checked out, and a new change in here will be Shake Milton. Holiday? Forbes is checked out, as Holiday's checked in. And then B carrying out there with the rebound here. That will be number six in a run. Harris outside, right to MB, rolling over to Green. Green inside MB. Taking a little kind of heavy contest shot, but MB has just hearing the cross, and, but they really felt silent. Adekubo. 
Finds Holiday with a three. Three-pointer to Holiday. Giannis Antetokounmpo with the assist. Looking really good. Oh, Joel Embiid. Oh, he just gets off with an unlucky moment with the layup drive. And he was just a little slip, slicking. But he had made that one. There was no man to put, make a push out of him. So, yeah, he was on comfortable balancing himself a little better. DiVincenzo up. Three-pointer for DiVincenzo is no good as MB takes seven rebounds plus 21 points on the number back. The number on the back is what number it is. Yep, 21. Back to Tobias Harris. They really wanted to see what they could do. Simmons kicking out the forceful drive. Oh, shot fade on that on a Kubo, but that will not be inside. Ten seconds left. Ana Kubo's out of idea. Oh! He goes right around the liking driving moment. How do you feel with the freak Greek freak done it? It looks like Tobias Harris will hold the ball. And with the halftime score is 45 to 33. We're going to see what happens in game six. If the Sixers can win or the Bucks can make an answer back at the moment. See you guys in the second half after this. And if you're just joining us for the second half, we'd like to welcome back at Milwaukee of Pfizer Forum. Talking about the game here that we saw it before. The process is making strong out there. 21 points, just like a number on the front or back. Or in seven rebounds and only one assist. But he's just bringing it out. It looks like the process really wants the team to hear the crowd of Philadelphia roar. And as you can see, they're at Philadelphia for game number six here. All the fans are just seeing things popping by. But the Deer District might be having a hard time. It may be enough for them to go one by one, but not all of them really wanted to do. Green right to Embiid. Right around it. Layup drive off the mark. Lopez right to Holiday. In the corner, inside. I had a Kupo. Wow, he just got dunked really fast. Bucks trail by 10. Curry right to Embiid. In there. Oh, he just made that dunk. Embiid has 23, 85 percentage on the board. It looks like they're feeling like MVP out there. Three-pointer miss out directly for Middleton. Harris working his way along. And he does it the same thing just like Joel Embiid did. But has five points in the game. 49 to 35. Girade finding a look on the run. Anacupo to DiVincenzo. Lopez for three. And rebounded up. Anacupo dunks it across. Anacupo just realizing that he was just trying to go with the run opportunity run. They really wanted to stop it all. Well, how do you feel about that? This is what they really call if they really wanted to take it from here. Curry to Simmons. Up and over to pass and bead. Layup is no good on the run. Anacupo to Middleton. Middleton, DiVincenzo. Alley of success! It's DiVincenzo with the assist. Anacupo slammed it down already. And you can hear what his tempo is up there. Timeout Philadelphia has 5.09 to go. It looks like the Deer District is bringing it back already, but they really wanted to see how well they could do if they wanted to keep an eye on the timing and on the stoppage run. This is where they, nobody has ever seen it before with the competition, but that is what they really want in order for them to try to stick them up. It's very hard for them to keep an eye on. So I'm subbing out one player. I'm going to go ahead and make another change up here. Going with patient into pushing a little more. And at the picket rules here, I'm going to need to try to see which one can do better. So, Green is checked out and Feibel is checked in. George Hill checked in for Ben Simmons. And D.Y. Howard checking in for Joel Embiid.
Finding a look off there is Curry. Drive, got unlucky, but he missed the run. DiVincenzo on our free Broadway. Oh, it was off a bit, but it did not stay along that time. Howard, oh! Watch up! Because D.Y. Howard just really got a piece of it. He just slammed it across already. You just don't want to mess him up already. D.Y. Howard's got six points in the game. Only 4.25 left to go here on the Cooper to DiVincenzo. Lopez up. Three! Another three-pointer for the Bucks. They're answering it back. Bible up. Pass it over to Curry. Right to Hill. They wanted to change it up a bit. Oh, Fievel wasn't paying attention. But it looks like DiVincenzo really stepped out of bounds. One more block here with the look. Joel Embiid with the first half. Really got to pay off. But it looks like Brooke Lopez definitely got that block. And I really wanted to keep it things at the right moment. It's very hard for him to make a struggle out of it, but that is just what they really wanted to keep an eye on for him. Well done for a process of MB. He was definitely, definitely not just enough. And it looks like no play was definitely called. They could have called the timeout. As I just took too long. That was me. Three-pointer off the mark for Forbes. 19 rebounds for the Sixers, 13 on the Bucks. And a take it away by Ida Kupo. Looking over is Middleton outside. Now the bounce pass out of Kupo over Hill. He got it! The Greek freak. Turning it up a bit. He's just really wanted to keep, keep it alive. Curry for three. That's off the mark. Middleton right to Holiday. Dunk it across! And they are coming back in with the breakoff run. Hill over to Curry. Curry on a drive. Taking it from here is not bad enough. Curry has five. And right now we're under three minutes to go. 53 to 46 is your score. Ida Kubo against Hill. Right forward, Milton. Portis up. And a foul is being pushed out on the Sixers. Philadelphia receiving another foul as Tobias Harris takes his first. Personal. At the line shooting two will be Bobby Portis. You will be seeing what he could do from the line. Take a break, take a break, two shots. First throw is good. And here are some new changes already for the Sixers as Tobias Harris goes on the bench. Five old court boss Milton and Maxi are checked in. Plus Forbes and Anacumbo are checked out. And Connaughton and Tucker. For checking in. Well played for those two guys. They're just working hard. And he makes two in a row. Bobby Portis has got the first bucket. Maxi will head it over to Fievel. Finding his uh, D.Y. Howard. Howard can't handle the layup drive as Connaughton will take it the other way. Over again. Holiday makes a shot. They are pushing it up by three. Connaughton with the assist. I'm going to try to pick up a motion here. Screen is off again. Howard right to Maxi. Maxi, building out for three. They would tell him not to do it already as the fifth three pointer is being whipped out. Oh, bad floater up here for Drew Holiday. And now the fighting rebound is on Devon Howard. Corkmaz, number two, he makes the drive and one. Bobby Bordis with the first personal foul. 
Another team foul carried out on the Bucks. Ben Simmons and Green will check in for Cork Maz and Dwight Howard. I mean, Cork Maz is in the center. Green checked in for Dwight Howard. It looks like Cork Maz is heading to the center. No way. How does this happen? I don't know. It, it, it should never be happening like the same thing over and over again. One shot left for Perkin Korkmaz. Korkmaz delivering it out with a pointer, and he has five in the game. Minute 45 left to play here, 56-50. Reaching foul called on Tyrese Maxey. This will be his first. Third team foul on the Sixers. And it looks like Korkmaz will be checking out. Well done on the run. And Joel Embiid will check back in. Looks like Embiid is just not even just trying to quit here at that point. But that is just what happens. Middleton out. Three! Chris Middleton! Embiid up. And how does this happen again for Bobby Portis? He received his second personal foul and the coach was just getting a little getting a little bit off his mind again. Maybe because of the maybe because of a heavy contest shot of the fight bit was being too much. And right now the bonus will be putting it up. Bonus is up and lit up. Joel Embiid shooting two free throws. He was able to keep knocking it down, only eight rebounds. Embiid hits the first free throw. He is just working his time right. But sometimes in others, he really had all. The second free throw, jo Joel Embiid has good 25 points for Embiid. And we're under 90 seconds right now. Drew Holiday is just trying to find a look on offense, but this is what they really need in order to keep it. Looking over, Tucker up. Three-pointer, PJ Tucker. Drew Holiday with the assist. They're down by two. And B, oh, he's not going anywhere tonight. Wow. Well play on that one. Drew Holiday is just getting silent up here. Only 13 points. Joel Embiid is way putting it up for four. Bobby Porter scores. He has his sixth buck, third bucket of the night. Following along by Chris Middleton with the assist. Maxi, right to Simmons. No double man on him. Green carried outside. Inside Joel Embiid. Double man. And Green coming in, trying to make a fast break. Maxi with the shot. And it's knocked away. It's Joel B couldn't save it. Middleton with the two, tie it. It's good. And the third district is getting back in it together. Connaughton is just picking up another assist in the game. Simmons, right to B. Double man on him. Simmons with the three. Almost! He just didn't have it all. And yes, that did give him a hard time, so we will forget about it. And B will have to stop from here as the third quarter is done. It's a tied score between 60 to 60. Wow, those guys could be the only two teams that wants to finish it for tonight. But who's going to win the fourth game? Going to win the fourth quarter, I meant. We'll find out after this one. Be right back after the game of intermission. See you until then. Let's take a quick look at the assist of a game presented by State Farm. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sometimes there's more often. The alley-oop was successful here for De Dante DiVincenzo, but that was just always picking up on his run. It seems like DiVincenzo says, Anacupo, this is for you. And then the ball, take it inside the paint. And then he definitely got the alley-oop successful 
on their run. Well played for the Bucks, but now it's time for them to shine and to close out the fourth quarter if they can pick it up. Hill right to MB. And it's giving up a bad timing out there. A two-pointer up for Green. That's good. They have a lead up by two here as Green was getting stuck already. And Joel Beats whooping around by the double defense pin. Middleton on Hill. Tucker for three. Three-pointer! Got the lead up by one. First lead of the night in game six. Oh, Simmons, well played by Joel Embiid. He's looking out on his next run. Six points for Ben Simmons. It looks like they needed to make a timeout. And uh, yeah, I think we have a little breakdown here. Steven turns him up. Three-pointer can't handle the mark for another one successfully on the down. Here's Hill in the corner. Right over to Ben Simmons. Inside over, Embiid. Double man, Curry outside. Simmons, open look. No three for him. He never got a chance to take one. Inside, Brook Lopez. Good shot opportunity here. Timeout, Sixers of Philadelphia. They really have it up. Just trying to work their way on the board. And that was just really hard for him to struggle in there if they really wanted to keep it going. So it looks like Green is out, and I'm going to go ahead and sub him out. I'm going to bring Matisse Feigl back in. And Ben Simmons is not working enough for him as I'm just going to need to try to make a new change up. I'm going to go ahead and uh, try and bring one of the guys back in here. Ben Simmons go back to point, point guard, and I'm going to need to try to work their way around here as I'm going to need Tobias Harris to bring back. If he's here or not, I don't know if he is, but, but um, it's hard for him to keep an eye on. Yeah, I'm going to see what happens at that point because there's nothing else. Let's change it over look here. Quick timing before, before the quarter of the Sixers timeout ends. And yeah, that's all that we need to do here. Bible just really got a little handle of Alpha one, and Ben Simmons will go back to point guard in position. Only two assists here for Matisse Bible, but never got a pointer to give it a try. But now he finally had one here. He has his first bucket on the run. Good solid run here and right in the paint, and this is what they really need. This is what they have for the Sixers to bring out with the open look on the on the drive. They really wanted to find him on the run. Oh, and B, he never got a he never got a foul up here in the second half. He just got a block. And what a savior at that moment as another turnover releases on the Bucks. And Giannis Antetokounmpo is on Joel Embiid, taking about a three. Rebound by Matisse Feibel. Gorkmaz is outside, going back over his Feibel. Gorkmaz around Brook Lopez. And they're out of time, it's a shot clock violation. Bucks ball. Yep, Doc Rivers were saying it's it's too much to look for an open look on the offense. Just make a finish. Don't leave him out. Drew Holiday on Simmons. Vincenzo up. Three pointer. And he's off already. The loose ball on the rebound is on Ada Kupo. 26 rebounds on the Sixers, 20 on the Bucks. Only got four minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Bergen Korkmaz would have been able to select them out. Three-pointer coming in their way. And Beach saving a game again. Korkmaz looking his way around. He finds Simmons. He goes up. Shot. Made it in before the shot clock expired. Only one made a turnover out there without losing the grip out there. And now the next time I will call out is 
the Bucks. 3.29 left to go here for the fourth quarter in game six. Bucks trail by three. It's very hard for them to look on a run, but this is what they really need to find them out. We're bringing it back to a two to three zone. Yeah. Three to two zone is a little, a little, a little too heavy on, on the game. change and a player of the game of game six of New Balance is Joel Embiid. The process has done it again so far, ladies and gentlemen. The only man for himself from Philly, a brotherly love, love court, and the fans at Philadelphia is going crazy over here for tonight. And they were expecting to see if they could play with the Bob Brooklyn Nets in the Eastern Conference Finals, but it's too late now because of all Giannis out of the Kupo and their team are just picking up at the tempo. Holiday against Ben Simmons. Ben Simmons trying to look over Drew Holiday. DiVincenzo out. Three pointer half the mark. Holiday again. And yes, it is. He makes a three, and Brooke Lopez carries out with a personal over the back foul. That will be enough for him for Brooke Lopez to pick it up. Oh, Ben Simmons almost missed that one out there. Green drives and it's good. Green is receiving nine points, but Ben Simmons almost lost it at that point. It looks like Drew Holiday. Drew Holiday almost had the attempt to steal it, but it was comes up short. Very tough on the run. Mills it up. Missing the shot. And that's another rebound on Joel Embiid. That's number 12 on the run. Embiid inside. Yes, you cannot stop Joel Embiid inside the paint. 29 points for Embiid. And they're all chanting MVP from Philadelphia. They hit 29 points. And here's uh, Dante DiVincenzo, he is working his up, and a steal is up on Ben Simmons. Shake Milton will slow it down. Milton uh, to Harris, right to Ben Simmons. The clock is winding down to two minutes left here in the fourth quarter. Shake Milton, no chance to go. And almost closed out the gap, but a shot was being whipped away. Drew Holiday, get it! Drew Holiday, he's making history here, and he's helping the team make it up a one point on the trail. Timeout on Philadelphia. Looks like they're really having a lot of hard working out there. A lot of hard moments out there so far. So it looks like um, there's a lot of uh, players that are just having a hard, hard work on the dedication on the run. But not all teams can able to make a save in this run if there's a chance for him to keep, uh, to keep the score inside from the begging of the run. So it looks like Joel Embiid has been astonishing to make, a, make another run. But that is what they really had to pay it off. It's not really hard, not really necessary to pick it up, to pick it inside. But if the Sixers can advance to see what the Joel Embiid's doing for next season, then he will see what he can do if he can try to pick up a run. And D.Y. Howard moving back to the Lakers, back from last season. We'll see what happens here for D.Y. Howard. And yes, they did confirm that Howard is leaving with the Sixers. He tried it, but didn't like it at all. Here's Hill. Millen outside, with the three up and away, it's no good on the run, Adekupo will have to try to take uh, advantage here, Holiday outside, the screen is on Brook Lopez, Holiday on Hill, inside, oh Matisse Feibel, Feibel got a first block, Tobias Harris, it's really trying to work things hard. But the shot clock, no, the game clock is winding down the last minute left. Once he's five up, 
short. Holiday Cooper to Holiday. Alley oop. Oh! What a done movement here. DiVincenzo and a crowd of the Deer District is going wild. And they really wanted to find out if they wanted to finish it all. Here's Hill right to Howard. And they're about to rumble it up. Screen on D.Y. Howard. Holiday up. And Howard! He dug it across! Well, the cut in motion here, and the assist is on George Hill. on number timeout on the box. Now both teams have one timeout left. The next timeout will take it up from here. We noticed that that, uh, that we only spotted out one, that the, that the Clipper is able to make a win here in the second round against the Jazz. And then, and then in the back of the first round of the Eastern Conference quarterfinals. I mean the yeah, quarterfinals is what they are what they are bringing it up. In this game. But most of all, they really wanted to see what they could do about the Clippers that they would bring back, um, you know, um, you know, one of those guys, um, I don't know what, I don't know what you call it, but, uh, Mark Harkless, I'm not sure if I remember to one of the players, but there might be more on their way. Let's see what happens with the closeout gap. Coming down to 31.9 seconds, looks like a Deer's District needs to bring back. Yep, here they go. Brooke Lopez, right to Giannis Adekupo and Ali Milton. No, he could not handle it off. Oh boy, and this is what happens already. The Deer Deer is just losing its weight. They're fading it off, and now they need to stop them. Fibel trying to work his way around Jake Milton outside. Two-pointer. B.Y. Howard thinking about a three. It's no good. Timeout on the box. 6.1 left to go. If they make the shot or not. If not, they will have to take the timeout on the Sixers to do it again. Looks like a lot of play was just working up to bring it in. Now we're going to shut down man to man in order to help them out to make their running history in the game below that never happened before. So it looks like we need some pick and rolls here and try to work your way around. We're gonna need to see who will take it from here to do the to play the stop on the Bucks. If the Bucks score, that means the last time I won't be on the Sixers. If they miss, that means the Sixers are one of the guys can able to make the rebound and try to defend it without being turned it up again, turned over again. 6.1 seconds. This might be hard for him to take it from here. Not sure what they're up to, but let's see what happens in this quarter. In three, two, one. Time's up. Here they go. Will the spot score? Let's find out what happens. Ada Cooper, it's knocked out. And yes, this is happening at the end for the for the Bucks. A steal taken over by Tobias Harris with only 2.1 seconds left. They have to see what they could do in order to make their way up and again. Last change already. We're just going to need to see what they could do in order to face it out. Princeton Chin is the last one for them to keep it going. So yeah, I think that's gonna be it for the Sixers as they as they pick up a revenging win here for this year. And we'll have to see if they can manage to make it from here. Here they go, last one. Can the Sixers move to the finals? And this turned to be a five second. I should have let I should have pushed the button. Half court. And that's it. Sixers move to the finals to take on the Suns. And they are the Eastern Conference champions of the game. Well, that's it. For this game, you can never stop what they have proved 
And now the downtown in Philadelphia are on their way, making history back to the finals where they have never done it before since many years ago. Well, we'll see you guys in the NBA Finals of 2K21 in between the Suns and the Sixers. So, the first game will be happening here is at Philadelphia of Game 1, 2, 5, and 7 if necessary. And Games 3, 4, and 6 is happening at the Valley of Phoenix of the Talking Stick Resort. So, we'll see you on the next one and the bracket will be ending here right at this point of the of the middle to bring the final two of Eastern Conference team and the Western Conference champion in between with each two guys as much and here's the box score once more and for the Sixers where we tell you Joel Embiid he never really faced it out before but this is what they really done a lot of them all, all the time. Four dunks, two blocks, one assist. No, three assists, one steal. And then 12 rebounds. 20 minutes on the court. So that's going to be it for tonight. I will see you all for the finals of 2K21 of NBA. And we'll be back soon to bring it from here. Thank you for joining with us. And we'll see you next time for the best play that you can never feel what they had. Check out last season's game if you have never seen the Bucks vs. Sixers on 2K20. Thanks for watching. Peace out bitches for us a while as the Eastern Conference Finals dial. See you all at the finals. Good night in Milwaukee. Bye. <laughs>